What's up guys, this is all Ninja Wong, a video on a superhero hat, bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel, and this is going to be the first of a multi-episode kind of mini-series tutorial on how to do the Saturn Rings combo. This combination contains three distinct moves that I'm going to break down in their own separate videos that we can, so that we can come together at the end and put it all together at once. Now before we get into the first combination, let's run that intro. Alright, so our first move is going to be the neck roll. Now, you're going to want to hold it not in the center of your bow staff, but just off to one of the sides, just like this. In your right or left hand, it doesn't really matter. I'm right-handed, so I use my right hand for this move. If you were left-handed, you can use the other hand. It really does. If you want to be ambidextrous and do both, you can 100% do it both ways. So, for right now, you're going to start off with your right hand on the right side of your bow staff. Now you're gonna roll or wrap your bow staff all the way around by putting the middle of your staff at the base of your neck, just like this. The middle of your staff at the base of your neck, just like that. So, you use that momentum and let it go. You're, but before you let go, your second hand's gonna wrap across the top, just like this, and it's going to catch the other side, just like that. So, going slow, you're gonna, again, hold it in your right hand, you're going to wrap it here, you're going to reach, and you're going to transfer the bow staff just like that. Now when you go a little bit faster, you get the momentum and you don't have to reach quite as tightly. So it's a nice relaxing roll. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get in the habit of not reaching for it, but instead letting it come to you. Keeping your hand in the middle of your chest and letting it come to you wrapping around your neck. Now notice I'm not tossing it around my neck. You have to let it roll across it. It has to keep contact with your neck the entire time. And if you get comfortable with that, try going the other direction. Try going the other direction just to build up that M the ambidextrousness. <laughs> I don't actually know the word. But try to build up your ambidextrousness so that you can do these tricks on both hands no matter what uh, the trick is. So give that a try. B make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to this channel because tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I haven't figured out when I'm going to be posting it yet, but because soon I'm going to be posting part two of this combination, probably tomorrow, so that you can try the next step of this trick. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I have to tell you, I have new merch in my merch store. So if you haven't, you know, checked it out or ever wanted any merch, go check out the links below. Uh, there's a bunch of shirts and hoodies and, and the, I'll be having hats and masks come out soon because, you know, the, uh, the situation the world is in requires a lot of masks right now. So I'll have all that coming up very soon. So stay tuned. Have a lot of stuff going on. Um, and until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.